Hi, Ben Coop here from Martin and Coop Chiropractic. One of the questions I most commonly get in practice is how do I strengthen my core? And an exercise that I commonly prescribe for people is the plank exercise. Many people are familiar with that exercise, but many people do it poorly. And when they do it poorly, they don't get the maximum benefits of the exercise. It can even create some negatives for your body. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the plank correctly. Stick around. Okay, before we get started, it's important that you never feel any aggravation or irritation to your body when doing any exercise. If so, stop. So with a plank, we're trying to get onto our elbows and our toes, essentially trying to make a straight line with our body. Now the key is to avoid arching our lower back just like that, coming down into this scooped lower back position. That's not only ineffective, it's actually problematic for the body. Instead, you want to think about rounding or flattening the lower back, squeezing your glutes very firm and bringing your heels together. I should have my heels together a little bit more here. And keeping and maintaining that position for as long as you can. I'd start out with 15 seconds and go further if you can, 30, 60 seconds, even beyond that. The key is to be able to maintain that position. If you start to arch through the lower back, then you're no longer effective. You stop at that point and you try and repeat it a few times with a little break in between. I'm also just going to demonstrate the front support here. It's kind of like a version of the plank, but this time we're involving using the shoulders. It's very good for building some shoulder stability. Essentially, instead of coming on our elbows, what I'm doing here is coming onto my hands. Again, avoiding that arched lower back position. I'm rounding my lower back, squeezing my glutes, and what, what you would have seen me do there is really pushing firmly into the ground, ensuring that I'm kind of trying to round the part of my spine in between my shoulder blades. This is the key to building the right kind of muscular stabilizers that we get benefit from with this exercise. Just like with the plank, you're holding this for as long as you possibly can while maintaining good form, starting with 15, even 30 seconds. If you can do that really easily, move it to 60. If you do that really easily, even go beyond. Maybe a minute between each one, three to four rounds of each exercise would be a great way to start. It's an excellent way to build some core strength in the body. I advise getting started as soon as you can. Let us know how you go. Thanks for listening.